Hi guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrap and Chew. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're taking a look at the Sonnet Studio watercolors. Those of you guys are tuning in for card inspirations. Uh, I'll slowly start to upload on a regular basis. I'm still trying to uh, get used to my new computer and the software and stuff like that. So it's taking me some time. And also because I haven't made a card in over three months, my mind completely just went blank and I had no idea what I wanted to make. So today I decided to play with some watercolors and maybe that will help me to kind of um, get my uh, thoughts straightened out, I guess. <laughs> so here I played around uh, with some colors. This is a Stampendous Jumbo Stamps. Here I have on this watercolor panel. So we'll kind of play with some colors and I'll see what I can try to make with uh, the colored flowers. So these uh, Sonnet Studio watercolors are new to me. I picked them up uh, before I left on my trip and this is the first time I'm playing with them. So they come like this in like a little uh, box and has these acetate on top which has the colors on it. So that's very convenient. And on the back it has all the color names as well as the life fast ratings. So you can see here there's a one star for um, low light fast, two for medium light fast, and three being high light fast. And a lot of them have three on them. Some there are uh, one, like uh, the yellows and um, let's see. Orange. Uh, matter lake red things like that so I kind of made a color chart because it's good to uh, see how these colors look on paper so I just cut it to the same size as my acetate and I put it there uh, these paints are a little bit on the sticky side so uh, that uh, transparency is really good so here you can see the bright colors, but those are painted uh, straight out of the pan itself. So they're very dark. I mentioned uh, the paints were a little sticky and that could be uh, because of where I am. There's a uh, high humidity here in Hawaii. And I believe these have 2.5 ml uh, paints in these little pots. So the pot, uh, the pot just pops out. And so you can uh, refill it if uh, you're done using them. The pans itself is in this little tray it's pretty light um, flimsy tray and it doesn't have like a hard uh, casing or anything it's just uh, like that like a paper like cardboard type but I really like the vibrancy of these paints I do believe that these are student quality paints but uh, for like a paper crafter and card maker like myself uh, these are perfectly fine because you can see uh, the variety of colors that you get in this set which is a 24 set and I believe I paid about $20 so that's a really uh, great price point so here I'm going to go ahead and spray on uh, some water on top and we'll kind of check out the colors as it goes down. 
I'm using this uh, Prima water brush and the paint uh, liquefies really easily so that's good this color here is the Hansa Lemon and I'll be fast forwarding this so you don't have to sit there um, and watch me uh, swatch out all the colors I actually took a big brush and put some uh, dab of uh, water right onto these paints because uh, it tends to dry out a little bit faster here in Hawaii so uh, there's yellow medium yellow deep that's gold ochre orange red light carmine Matter Lake Red, English Red, Azure, I don't know how you say that, Ultramarine Light, Blue, Bluish Green, Violet Light, Violet Deep here, Emerald Green, Sap Green, Green Deep, Raw Sienna, Raw Umber, Burnt Sienna, sorry, uh, Burnt Umber, Sepia, and Lamp Black. Sorry, there seemed to be a little glitch. I'm still getting used to these, uh, my editing software. So here I just laid out a whole bunch of uh, water onto the bottom portion of this uh, Canson Mixed Media uh, book and I'm just dropping in some colors to see how the colors move and you can see they move very well. I believe I use the yellow medium, carmine and uh, ultramarine blue. So the colors mix and blend really well and I like um, the vibrancy of the color so you won't be needing much if you're just uh, coloring your rubber stamps and things like I do. And I'm just dropping in some colors here and there just to see how they move but I'm also working straight from the pan so the uh, colors are much more um, intense so here I have these flowers that I stamped out and I actually embossed it with a black embossing powder and again I'm adding water to the entire area and I'm just dropping in some color and you can see um, how bright the colors are here I used the red and the yellow here, I mean I'm sorry, the red and the blue and the colors, um, I didn't like the color combination that I chose and I'm just uh, moving the paper around and here I'm dropping in the yellow and it just completely created this hot mess so I end up not using that so I should have left it like this as is but later on I just make it into really this big blob but for this one again I just spread the water using a big uh, fat flat brush and I jump, I'm just dropping in some I believe this is the violet light that it was really pretty this is where I try to go back and fix that um, one on the bottom right and I'm dropping in some more blue and again I'm dropping in the same uh, red
I just wanted to see how these uh, paints kind of work um, because I don't really know um, too much information about this these paints so I learned by just kind of playing around and I love how the colors just um, whoosh out Sorry, there's some weird noises uh, from my computer. Hopefully it's not too um, annoying. Just trying to suck up some of the puddles. So this is how it looks once it's completely dried. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much color shift. Uh, there are some, but not too bad. I really like these paints. So those are all the colors that comes in the set of the 24. These paints are made in Russia. I don't know if I mentioned that. So great quality paints. I love it. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with them. So I just went off camera to make these uh, cards here. Uh, because I didn't want you guys to be watching this for too long and I just cut them out uh, with my scissors and I backed it onto a white cardstock and I sponged them on some uh, tumble glass uh, distress ink just for uh, so that the uh, flowers have some uh, ground this one I sprayed it with the uh, distress sprayer and you can see those speckles where the colors have lifted that, so that was pretty cool and I've added some sequins to this and I've backed the white cardstock with a black and I use uh, some stitched rectangle dies and then I popped up the flower these have little clear dew drops. I'm sorry, that one had like a purplish uh, dew drops. These have the clear ones. So hopefully this will uh, give you a little information as to how these paints work. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this I guess a quick overview and these cards so I really enjoyed them and I know I'll be using them a lot so hopefully I'll be coming to you with a regular um, card uh, inspirations thank you so much and I'll see you back soon bye